Hello Internet, and welcome to another Soda Documentary. Now, aren't you glad that you opened this video? Okay, so no more fruit jokes for this episode. Anywho, oranges, one of the most popular fruits on the markets. Same goes with soda. Orange soda may be the most popular of the fruit flavors sodas there is, with big orange soda companies like Sunkiss, Fanta, and of course, Orange Crush. All of these sodas are big names in the fruit flavored sodas, so a lot of history to cover, of course. So here's the history of Orange Crush. In 1911, Clayton J. Howe, president and founder of the Orange Crush Company, partnered with chemist Neil C. Ward and incorporated the company. Ward made the recipe for Orange Crush. Howe was not new to the soft drink business also, having earlier introduced Howe's Orange Julep. Soft drinks of the time often carried the surname of the inventor along with the product's name. Howe sold the rights to use his name in conjunction with the first brand. Therefore, Ward was given the honors. Crush was first premiered as Ward's Orange Crush. How include Crush in the name to refer to the process of extracting oils from the oranges. Originally, Orange Crush include orange pulp in the bottle, giving it a fresh squeezed illusion even though the pulp was added rather than remaining from squeezed oranges. Pulp has not been in the bottle for decades. By 1918, it was available in Canada just eight years after introduction. Crush has established 1,200 bars through aggressive international expansion. In 1919, the Orange Crush Company commissioned artist Norman Rockwell to paint Crush print advertising for the leading magazines of the day. In the 1920s, 30s, and 50s, Crush advanced into South America, Europe, New Zealand, and Africa. The history of Crush in Latin America created a powerful brand name with Hispanics who grew up with the drink in their home countries. Crush also had other flavors other than orange. Lemon and Lime Crush were introduced in 1919 and 1919. 1920, Grape Crush was introduced in 1960, Cherry Crush in 1962, and Pineapple in 1966. Crush was purchased by Procter & Gamble in 1980, with the exception of the Canadian Rights, which was purchased four years later. In 1989, Cambay Schweppes acquired Crush USA from Procter & Gamble. Cambay Schweppes spun off its United States beverage business as Dr. Pepper Snapple Group in 2008. The Crush brand and trademark are currently owned by Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Crush is also popular in Canada, where it's distributed by Canada Dry Mots. It is also distributed by various Pepsi bottlers, the biggest being Pepsi Bottling Group. Several flavors, orange, dyed orange, grape, strawberry, and cherry, are available in most stores throughout North America. However, the others are distributed only within small markets. Pineapple Crush and Birch Beer Crush, for instance, are relatively easy to obtain in either can or single serving bottle in Canada. This will soon change as Pepsi Bottling Group has recently announced that they would be distributing Crush in a majority of their territory in the United States followed less than a month later by Pepsi Americas. The changeover in distribution became official in late January and early February of 2009, with the Pepsi ballers taking over the crush rights in those areas and the bottling rights of Hawaiian Punch, going to bottlers of Dr. Pepper 7-Up. History is great, but the flavor has to be also. So let's see what Patrick from Soda Tasting has to say about Crush Lemon. It's a soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe is we're gonna review Crushed Lemon. And I'm actually really excited about this. You know, it has, a, it's a lemon, kind of artificially a little bit lemon smell. Yeah, there's nothing I would say uh, or any way I would describe it that would be like unique or different. It's just, it's a pleasant lemon smell. This is a great lemon soda. It's tart, it's sweet, it's smooth. It's got a great balance of those flavors. When I say tart, I don't mean that it's so tart that it burns your mouth, burns your tongue, but that you really pick up and appreciate a tart lemon flavor. I think all in all, a great drink if you are looking for something that is a lemon soda, not a lemon lime soda, but a lemon soda, I think you should definitely pick this up. Definitely give it a try. See if you can find it near you. I like it a lot. I haven't had, I think I've had one other lemon soda, I want to say, the Meyer lemon soda. Memory serves me. You know, I like this much, much more. Um, 
this is a great, great lemon soda. So 4.5 out of 5 is where I'm going to put it. really like it a lot. Now let's see what me, Steven, and my brother have to say about their orange sodas. Hi everyone, it's Tyler from The Big Overview, and I gotta say, I've been excited for this one for a while. Yes, also Steven and Billy are joining me here. This is Crush, and I've been searching for years to find Crush with sugar. Finally, this one ran, this uh, gas station over, I went there to fill up some gas, and I saw this just in the distance, and I had to get it. It's Crush, Mexican Crush with sugar. It's taken me a while to find it, but finally I got it. So now we are going to compare what it might be. I don't really know. It might be one of my favorite orange sodas. I mean, to compare all of them again with orange crust with sugar. So everyone, let's try the high fructose corn syrup first. Ah. So, boy, I think I remember you telling me that uh, you, your favorite, might be Sun Kissed. Am I correct? Correct. All right. Do you have an opinion about Crush or? Um, you know. It, it, I mean, I just find that the uh, sun kiss to be a little bit more flavorful with the orange. Okay, that's why. And Steven, do you have any opinion about orange sodas? I I usually just hear you say that you like it. I, I know I like Font. I know I like Fanta. I like Shasta. Um, I see no reason why I wouldn't like Crush. I'm pretty sure I've had it before. That reminds me of the very old commercials. It, it, it had this song like this romantic song, everyone, it shows couples and they're drinking orange crush and then all of a sudden it says, everyone remembers their first crush. And I'm like, I don't know, the, the, I don't really know how you're supposed to think of it, but okay. And you know what they should do for a new commercial for crush? Crush. Ah. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know what that it's song is. It's a soda. <laughs> I, I don't know what that song is, the, but they should do that for their next commercial. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Cheers. Let's I try. want $500,000 crush. All right. And it smells like orange. It smells exactly like how I expected. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why we bother smelling it. It's like I don't know. We've had some weird smells also. That's true. Remember with McFatties? It smelled like a weird soda. I, don't know, I might as well start. You know, I've had Orange Crush. It's what I expected. I like Orange Crush. It's a good orange soda in my opinion. It has a nice flavor. It's even with high fructose corn syrup. It's nice. It's and nice, it's mellow. It's the carbonation I thought would actually be stronger, but it was a little bit less than I thought. But overall, the high fructose corn syrup version is still pretty good to me. From what I can tell, it's an orange soda that I can like. Steven? Maybe it's because I'm used to drinking a lot of soda with ice, so the ice does something to dilute the flavor. In some cases, that can be a good thing because this is a very rich orange. Not very bad, not like one of the sodas I've had in the past that we reviewed, uh, the grape one. No, overall, I, I like it. It's orange soda. It's good. I might just be feeling a bit weary of it just because I've put a lot of sweet things into my system recently. So I might just, I might just be going sweet over them right now. I might not be able to get my full opinion. This review is not fully endorsed by Detective Steve. <laughs> and how about you, Billy? Um, I, I like it. I know it's a little, the uh, corn pro coat. High fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. I uh, wow, one. I'm actually really excited to try that just to see if it's any better. But yeah. other than that, just tasting this, it tastes pretty good. Sounds good. So rating Billy? Um, I'd probably give it a seven point five out of ten. See, even though we keep it on well, positively, I'm gonna say it out of ten because I know with ice, I would chuck it down just fine. Yeah. It's just a little weird with that ice. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Also, it's a good orange soda, everything I expected, and I've always liked the Orange Crush. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, but before that, just to make sure we have a fair review, we're going to drink some water to get the flavor out of our system so it doesn't dilute us at all. Oh, that's probably a sound of like you want to say, skip the water, just sitting inside and drinking the water. You know, I think I like the water that comes out of the Brita filter a little more than this. So I'm going to give this a bad attack. Oh, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> this is straight from the French. <laughs> you you got to cut this out, right? No, no, no after, not after you reviewed it. Now we have to keep it in. <laughs> All right, guys. It's time for the cane sugar version of Crush from Mexico. So let's see how this is. Mm. All right. I've noticed this is a darker color of blue. 
Do you guys see how much darker that is compared? Yeah. I, I'm wondering if that has anything to do with the way... You said this is Mexican, right? Yep. I, I wonder if that has to do with how they you know, uh, planted and harvested. Okay. Eat. I don't know if they use real sub, real stuff in here or not, like real oranges or whatnot. I would yeah. imagine they would. That has a, Ooh. that's like kind of real. That's dish. that's a really good orange smell. Yeah, real. So I think they use real stuff. Yeah. Okay, everyone. All right. Well, I'll start first and. You guys will just probably get tired of me saying this, but I've always said cane sugar. It's the real deal. It's way better in my opinion. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but this crush is a lot better than the hybrid just corn syrup. It has a more real, sweet, rich flavor. It's a uh, much, uh, it's usually why I say it, the cane, cane sugar stuff. It's just much more out there, more powerful, more rich flavor. Also, the low carbonation, but I think it does it justice very well. It's a, uh, this franchise, all I can say, it has a more realistic orange flavor. Very nice, very sweet, and very rich, just like I said. Basically, everything he said, I agree with. I, I still may be suffering from my sweetness overload, so I don't know if my opinion can fully be trusted right now. But I did, I did definitely catch a, a very slight but I felt the more proper tang that you would get from, you know, orange juice or something. Uh, the real cane sugar does a great number on the flavor to make it more powerful and much sweeter. Which, since I'm suffering from sweetness overload, might not be a good thing for me right now. But, all in all, it's a pretty good orange soda. And I would say between that corn and the corn syrup one, I, I would take this one. Philip? Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with Steven on the it tasting really sweet and rich. I, I feel like I got that more at instead of the rich stuff. <laughs> Steven did say it was sweet, but I was the one that kept using rich. So okay, well I'm sorry. Well, I, was just sure, you. But I agree with you. So okay, I was just saying. I, was just, I agree with you, so he's technically right. still agreeing with me. Exactly. So he's agreeing with me through you then. <laughs> Anyway, so I I think that it was a really rich, sweet taste. I don't know if it was the, the cane sugar or or what, but I would definitely much more take that over this. Yep. So uh, final rating. Um, when it comes to orange soda, I will say a, probably a nine out of ten. Okay. Eight point five. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Also, a lot better. Also, the bottle is just badass. I just love this. But still, it's fantastic, and I've always what said, cane sugar is the way to go. Anyway, thank you for all watching. We all enjoyed Crush, and enjoyed it even more with the sugar version. Crush is an orange soda you can see in almost every store, and it deserves to be there. It is a great orange soda, and if you could get your hands on the cane sugar crush, definitely try it out. After all, there is lots of time and care put into the soda at the Orange Factory. All you need to do to work there is some concentration. I don't even remember that I'm not a comedian. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. This is Tyler from the Big R Review, signing off.